What's going on everybody? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. This is tips, tricks, and cool features for the Cricut Dream 5G. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks for this phone that you might not know about yet. Now, before we go any further, I do wanna remind you to go ahead and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. Now, with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I wanna show you is a quick shortcut to get to your camera. This is a really easy thing to do, and no matter where you are on the phone, whether you're in an app or just on the home screen, it's gonna work regardless. So all you gotta do is double tap the power key like this. It's gonna ask which app you wanna use to open the camera, unless of course you hit always, in which case it's always gonna use the app you select. So for example, I just hit always with the regular camera app, and now I'm gonna do it one more time. And there we go, the camera opens right up. Now say we're in a completely different part of the phone, like Google Chrome, I can double tap the power key, and it's still gonna go right to the camera. It's a pretty cool feature, and it makes accessing the camera when you wanna capture a quick moment really easy. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a feature called prevent ringing. This is a fast way to put the phone in vibrate mode. So if you're going into a movie, a meeting, something like that where you don't want your phone to make noise, you can mute it really easily. All you have to do is press the power key and the volume up key at the same time, and it's gonna show this. If you wanna double check and make sure it's in vibrate mode, you can also look right up here on the status bar, and this little icon here is gonna show you that vibrate mode is in fact on. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a feature called adaptive brightness. What this does is adjusts the brightness of the display based on your environment. So if you're somewhere that's really dark, you're not gonna need as much brightness, so it's gonna dim the display a little, but if you're in a really bright room or maybe in direct sunlight, then the brightness is automatically gonna go up to adjust for it. This is gonna help you save a little battery and protect your eyes by not being too bright when it doesn't need to be. So to turn on adaptive brightness, we're gonna go to the settings, go to display, go to adaptive brightness and turn it on. As you can see, the screen dimmed a little because it didn't really need to be that bright. Now, in theory, adaptive brightness would be pretty much the perfect setting, but we all know that a sensor on a smartphone is gonna be far from perfect. So if you are in a situation where it just gets annoying and dims your screen too much, or maybe the opposite, maybe it makes it too bright, you can always turn it off so you can manually select whichever brightness you want. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to show and hide the battery percentage on the status bar. A lot of people actually like it up here, but some people might want a more minimalistic look. And since it is on by default, I'm gonna show you how to hide it. So to do this, we're gonna go to our settings, go to battery, and toggle this off. Once you toggle off battery percentage, it's no longer gonna be on your status bar, it'll just be the icon. But if you do ever need to see the battery percentage and you don't want it to be showing at all times on your status bar, you can always drop down your quick menu and it's gonna be right there. Because of this, I don't really see a huge benefit in having it on the status bar, but of course with your phone, that's really gonna be up to you. The next thing I'm gonna show you is actually also in the battery menu, and that is the battery saver. The battery saver is a really cool feature that basically puts your phone in a low power mode to conserve battery until you can get to a charger. Now, of course, this is not meant for when your phone is at 93%, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So to turn on the battery saver, all you need to do is go to this menu and hit turn on now. When your phone is in battery saver mode, it's gonna make a few adjustments to make sure your phone is consuming as little power as possible. Now you're not gonna want this on when you don't need it because it's gonna severely hinder the performance while also being really unnecessary since this phone does have a pretty big battery as it is. So if you have pretty much full battery, you're never gonna wanna turn this on. But that being said, say your phone is under 20% and you're not next to a charger, you might wanna have this on just so it can conserve the battery until you can get it charged up so your phone doesn't actually die when you need it. Now by default, it will turn off when you're charging the phone and it reaches 90%. So that's a really good thing because if your phone is dying and you turn on battery saver, then you won't have to worry about forgetting to turn it back off once the phone is charged up. You can also set a schedule. And these schedules aren't really based on time, but rather it's based on battery percentage. So you can have it turn on at 5%. I personally think that's a little low. Once you reach 5%, your phone is basically dead. 
if you want to do it like this, I would personally just do 20%, something like that, just to be on the safe side, but that's really just me. It's going to depend on how you use your phone, so definitely play around with this if you want and see which setting works best for you. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a screen recording. Screen recordings are really cool and they're also extremely easy to use. So all you need to do is go down to your quick menu, go to the second page, and screen record start is right here. You're going to tap on the icon, and now it's going to ask you a couple different questions, how you want the audio recorded, whether it's through the microphone, or device audio, or both. And by default, nothing is actually toggled on. If you want audio, or if you want touches on the screen, you're going to have to toggle these on yourself, because otherwise, they're not going to work. So once you've decided on your settings, go ahead and hit start. There's going to be a little countdown, and then it's going to be screen recording until you decide to stop. And when you're ready to stop the recording, go to your quick menu and tap on this little banner to stop it. After that, it's going to be saved right to your photos. The next thing I'm going to show you is a more convenient way to end your calls. It's easy enough to press the hang up button, but you can also end calls with the power button, which I personally think is a little bit more convenient. This is not a thing by default, so to change this, we're going to go to our settings, go to accessibility, go down towards the bottom, and it's going to say power button ends call. You're going to want to toggle this on. And now when you're talking on the phone and you're ready to end the call, you can simply click the power button instead of pressing the hang up button and the call will end. The next thing I'm going to show you is a feature called Nightlight. What Nightlight does is tints the screen in an amber color to filter out some of the blue light that might bother your eyes. So to turn on Nightlight, we're going to go to our settings, go to display, go to Nightlight, and hit turn on now. As you can see, the screen is slightly tinted in a more warm amber color. It's not very intense right now, but you can turn the intensity up to make it stronger. You can also schedule this to turn on at a custom time or from sunset to sunrise. It's kind of similar to dark mode, and a lot of people use the two features together. The next thing I'm going to show you is a feature called lift to wake. Now you actually don't need to do anything if you want to use this feature, because by default it is activated. All you need to do when your phone is asleep like this, is put your phone face down and when you want to wake up the display, just pick it up and it's automatically going to wake up. Now if you don't want to use this feature, I'm going to show you how to turn it off. We're going to go to our settings, go to display, go to advanced, and turn off lift to wake. With this feature off, when you lock the display, put your phone down and pick it back up, it's not going to wake up again. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to access screen time. Screen time is a really cool feature that basically gives you a rundown on how much time you're spending on your phone and how much you're using each app. It can be really useful for time management and lots of other things. So to get to screen time, we're going to go to settings, go to apps and notifications, and screen time is right here. It's going to tell you how much time you spent on your phone total, as well as how much time you spent on each app. This is really cool because if you're spending a lot of time on your phone and you want to figure out why, you can use this feature to see which apps you're spending the most time on. You can also set timers for the apps. So for example, if you want to get out of the habit of using social media or playing a specific game, you can put timers for those apps. So once you reach the allotted time, it'll automatically shut down the app for the rest of the day. It's also a pretty useful tool for parental controls and stuff like that. But those were my tips, tricks, and cool features for the Cricut Dream 5G. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you found this information useful as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.